I'm Landon Hoff outside Ball Arena in Denver. The Denver Nuggets and owner Stan Kroenke are doing all right. According to Forbes, last year the team reported an operating income of $67 million. The value of the franchise has quadrupled in the last decade and is nearly 10 times higher than when Kroenke bought the team back in 2000. But it hasn't always been this way. For decades after the franchise's inception as the Denver Rockets of the ABA, the team has struggled financially. The Denver Nuggets were this close to being contracted by the NBA. They were in deep financial trouble. The consortium that Carl Shear had brought on to kind of financially help the Nuggets was hemorrhaging money, largely due to a contract that they signed uh, for David Thompson in 1978 that they really couldn't afford, but they did it to keep him from going to New York. That's Jeff Morton, the host of the CSG podcast and a sort of de facto Nuggets historian. Back in the late 70s, the Nuggets had given a five-year, $4 million contract to future Hall of Famer David Thompson, and it nearly bankrupted the team. Both the Denver Nuggets and the Utah Jazz were this close to folding. It was Red McCombs, the former owner of the San Antonio Spurs, who rescued the team in 1982 and righted that financial ship. But the money problems would persist. McCombs would sell the team to Sidney Schlenker, who would sell the satellite cable provider Comsat, who would divest the Nuggets before being acquired by Liberty Media Group, who then sold the team to Kroenke. And I'd say that one has worked out just fine. For Denver 7 Outside Ball Arena, I'm Landon Hoff.